Hi everyone, so in the last video I used an acrylic paint marker pen to position one, two, three sheep on the page and I finished by just popping in this sloping horizon line. So the next thing I'm going to do is introduce uh, the indication of some hills off in the distance. And perhaps uh, the odd tree or two as well. So we'll perhaps just use the marker pen to very loosely just indicate a tree here and perhaps the presence of another one here on the left. And now having done that, I'm going to establish some regions of deep shadow on these sheep. So we'll start with uh, the sheep off in the distance and just put a region of shadow along the front of the neck and a little bit on the ground. And then this lamb has patches of dark fur, dark fur, <laughs> dark wool and dark skin, I should say. A bit of shadow in the ear and then That side of the neck is in shadow. The upper back. A nice block of shadow there. The ground behind this main sheet is also in shadow and I'm going to bring that shadow up to the neck of the lamb because that will nicely contrast with a bit of light catching the neck of the lamb there. And the underside of the chin of the big sheep, the eye there, the inside of the ear, all three of those are in shadow. And this is quite a long shaggy walled sheep we've got here. So we can use the acrylic paint marker pen to very quickly introduce a sense of texture on the wall and also indicate where those shadowy regions are. Then the underside of the animal is in even darker shadow. So let's, uh, let's put that in. And there we go. So I think that one's pretty much done for this stage. Next up, in the next video, what I'll do is start to paint in the sky and introduce a nice, colourful and cloudy sky. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me in the comments.